The biggest event since the Australian Open for both the men and the women is coming up in March. Indian Wells, the fifth Grand Slam, as it's very famously called. And a lot of big names are going to be playing this event. The entry list has just been revealed six weeks out from the tournament. Let's go see who is actually going to be playing at this stage. So starting on the women's side of things, on the WTA, the list of the top 32 seeds, because of course this tournament is a massive draw. Starting with the number one, Sviantec, of course, going to be there. And also Sabalenka will also be at the event. Rabakina, the defending champion, also playing at this one. Zhang, the Australian Open final, is also going to be at this event. In fact, in the top 32 of the world rankings, everyone's going to be playing at this stage. Now, of course, there is a few weeks until the event starts, so there's injuries that could come into play, but at this point, the top 32 in the world are going to be playing this event on the women's side. We go down a list a little bit more to the players that are unseated. Andreva, she'll be the first unseated player outside the top 32, but of course, injuries over the next couple of weeks could mean that she is in the top 32 and seeded, but at this stage, she is the highest ranked unseeded player. Leila Fernandez, also unseeded at number 36. Sophia Kennan, another unseeded player going into Indian Wells and of course could be a potential second round opponent for a seed. We keep going down a little bit more. We can see Danielle Collins, of course, nearly beating Sviantec at the Australian Open, just beat Osaka as well. So very dangerous unseeded player there and is going to be playing this event. And then some of the players that are coming in with a protected ranking or a special ranking, of course, Naomi Osaka herself will be playing. And Nisimova, who did well at the Australian Open, also going to be playing at this event with a protected ranking. So really going to be interested to see when the draw comes out in a few weeks' time where these kind of players fall amongst the seeds. Going over to the men's side now, and Novak Djokovic playing for the first time in Indian Wells since 2019. Of course, wasn't allowed to play the last couple of years and pulled out a few years before that as well. He will be the number one seed going into Indian Wells with Carlos Alcaraz, the defending champion, as the number two seed going into the event. Yannick Sinner also going to be playing, but it won't be the first time since the Australian Open. He is playing an event in the next week or two, but he will be there as well. He made the semifinals last year. Some other seeds that are worth watching out for, of course, Dimitrov has had a really good six months. Definitely someone to keep an eye on at this event. Has done well here before as well. Bublik, who just won a tournament a couple weeks ago, will also be seated at this event. And just like on the women's side, you can see the top 32 players in the world, if nobody gets injured over the next couple weeks, will be the top 32 seeds. So that's really good to see that the top players on the, both the men and the women are all entered in this event with no one pulling out six weeks in advance. We go down to the unseated players, Eubanks. He is the cutoff at number 33 in the world. So he will be the first in line if somebody in the seeds does pull out. Quarter also going to be unseated, which is interesting to see. If we go down a little further, of course, Andy Murray will be unseated at this event. He just can't seem to get his ranking up high enough in that top 30 to get seated at these big events. So again, he's probably going to have to play a seed early in this event. Bavrinka, another veteran that's going to be unseated. Of course, beat Runa here last year. It was really, really good. Monfils, another veteran who's going to be unseated. If we go down the list, and then we go down to the players that are protected. Shapovalov, Raonic. Of course, Rafa Nadal back in action in Indian Wells. Hasn't been in America for a long time, over 12 months, of course, got injured in Australia last year and wasn't able to play any of the events last year post the Australian Open. So really excited to see Rafa back in Indian Wells. Of course, made the final here two years ago. Lost to Fritz after getting injured in the final, but had that epic match against both Kyrgios and Alcaraz along the way. So really keen to see how Rafa does, especially where he falls in the draw, because of course, there is a potential that he could play Novak Djokovic in the second round if the tennis gods allow. So there it is. Indian Wells, stacked event as usual, but it's great to see that we're getting the top 32 players in the world at this stage playing in this event. Of course, plenty of time for injuries, and I would be very surprised if we do get the top 32 for the men and the women both playing at this event. You know, injuries happen. There are players right now that are injured that are on the entry list, but they might pull out, and that could change things a little bit. But of course, Rafa being in the draw, he won't go any higher. You don't expect him to be in the top 32, so he might have to play a top 10 guy in the first or second round, actually. Because remember, the top 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. All the unseeded players then play to get to the seeds in the second round. Could be really awkward. Also, Osaka, another player, really keen to see how she does as an unseeded player. But let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to be winning Indian Wells? Give me a prediction. Six weeks away. It's a long way away, but give me your predictions. Is it going to be Rebecca going repeating, or is it going to be Djokovic taking over Indian Wells? Remember, he hasn't lost in America post-Wimbledon, and that was his plan as per the 60-minute interview. He did say that I wanted to beat everyone in America on American soil, and he did that by winning the US Open. So let's see how he does at Indian Wells for the first time in a long time. But there it is, the entry list for Indian Wells. About six weeks until the event starts.